Okay, this video is called The Inner Game of Health. And where I got the idea from was, it just sort of spontaneously came to me, The Inner Game of Tennis. You know, in the morning, ideas just come to you. And the thing to do is write them down real fast so you don't lose them. And, um, and I thought about The Inner Game of Health. And I've heard other things along the lines of, you know, The Inner Game of, like, how health is related to the biochemistry of the individual cells. So this was a real popular book when I was a young guy. My parents gave me this book, I think, about learning tennis. Um, and it was, you know, it's entertaining. All right, so how does this relate to health? So what I'm talking about here is the idea that hypertension is just a symptom of excessive dietary sodium, deficient dietary potassium, and magnesium, okay? Um, so a problem starts at a cellular level, before all these other things happen. And same thing with insulin resistance, you know, being due to excessive dietary fat, a deficiency of potassium and magnesium. Also, there's other things that contribute to that, like excessive dietary iron. Um, so what I'm basically saying is, if you just look at a list like this, it kind of tells you what you need to do. What are most people deficient in? Most common nutrient deficiencies are potassium, magnesium, and fiber, because all that stuff comes from plant foods. So you eat plant foods, then you get the stuff you need. People need to get out in the sun more. Real sunshine is what you want, not taking an oral vitamin C pill, okay? Uh, sleep, you want to get your sleep, you know, work at getting that right because if you don't sleep well, it's going to be hard to get any, you know, your other stuff correct. Sleeping adequately makes you smarter. Getting exercise also makes you, I forgot to put exercise in here. Exercise also makes you smarter. It causes brain-derived neurotropic growth factor and neurogenesis, the formation of new neurons in the brain. It's one of the biggest things you can easily control for aging better. Maintaining a good social support system, you know, and you, you come to terms with people like your family, your relatives, and your friends so that you have a win-win relationships. Um, even if you can't make it the way you want the relationship, you can at least try to make it a win-win as best as possible. And the other thing I think long-term for people is to keep on educating themselves because I think the, the, the entire population being sort of uh, uneducated about history, religion, art, literature, all those things, it hurts them. These things make you more powerful. They make you more resilient. When you know history, when you know the story of religion and good art versus bad art, literature, music and stuff, people can't BS you that effectively. You know, you become less vulnerable to every little trend that comes along. A lot of times these trends, they're just Trojan horses that kind of drag you down and diminish you. So having a solid sense of history and culture, it makes you intellectually more powerful. Okay, and also like, you know, watching TV is a waste of time. Pop culture is a waste of time. It's vulgar. It's ignorant. It degrades you. So having a higher sense of these things helps, makes you mentally stronger. And when you're mentally and emotionally stronger, you're less stressed out. You're less affected by things. Anyways, what are people overloaded with? Well, of course, dietary fat. And that then leads to tissue hypoxia, tissue inflammation, tissue dysfunction, mitochondrial dysfunction, accelerated aging, all that stuff. We talked about that, entire lectures on that. Iron overloaded. This is something that's not that well recognized. I've done a bunch of lectures on iron. I think I've done about eight lectures on iron. By the way, this, this YouTube channel now has about 637 lectures. So there's a lot of information. You're going to have to use the search button to find it, but it's there. Um, I also, by the way, I put, I try to put beautiful paintings, you know, with, on the thumbnails of most of my lectures because people, I think, underestimate how much great art has already been done. Modern art's all crap. It's, it's, it's designed to degrade you. Modern architecture, it's designed to degrade you. Degrading you is part of grooming you to get you ready for, you know, slavery and to give up your freedom. You don't want that. Recognize you're part of a great tradition and you should maintain that tradition, okay? It's uplifting. It's ennobling. All right. Um, iron overloaded. I'm going to make another lecture on this. I'm reviewing the literature again on it and it gets worse and worse. For example, when you've got diabetes from excessive dietary fat intake is the primary thing, um, it'll then cause glycation of your iron-carrying proteins, transferrin in the blood and ferritin for storage within cells. And once those iron storage proteins, so to speak, become glycated. They become less able to hold on to iron. Iron leaks out into the blood from the transferrin. Um, and from the ferritin, it'll also uh, get free to some extent, and that'll cause excessive oxidative stress. So these things end up being connected. Uh, so diabetes, you know, it cause, it's a train wreck. It's a disaster. All right, um, sodium. We talked about dietary sodium at length, but very common if you're eating processed food or meat, you're overloaded in that. Calcium, we talked about 2.5 times increased 
I'll cause mortality for women supplementing with calcium that were taken over 1,400 milligrams per day. Um, high fructose corn syrup, we have other lectures on that, how it's routinely concentrated to 65% and contaminated with mercury. It's a, it's a disaster. Don't eat that it's crap. Okay, MSG, MFG, super common. They got like 50 different names. It's hidden in almost anything. That's why you don't want to eat processed food. If there's more than one ingredient, there's a good chance MSG has been put in there. Um, these food dyes often inhibit mitochondrial function. These food preservatives, they're toxic to living microorganisms. So guess what? They're toxic to your cells too. These things all inhibit uh, circa, sarcoplasm, endoplasmic reticulum, calcium ATPase. I'm going to make a lecture on that in the future. That's relevant because it, it, it connects in with mitochondrial function. So these are all the things dragging you down. And how do you escape from that? To the extent that you can, you know, same old story. Low fat, low sodium, vegan, do all this stuff. Um, cadmium from car brake pads. That's why I won't sit next to a busy street, like let's say at a sidewalk cafe at a restaurant. I just won't do it because uh, I don't want to be inhaling the car exhaust or the cadmium from the brake pads. That's why I'll only eat organic because it's got less cadmium in it. That's another reason. Um, aluminum, it's in the tap water. It's, you know, it's in the, you know, what trails, you know, in the sky. Uh, F minus is in most tap water. That's why I filter it out and I, you know, move to a place with a well water so it's not in my water. Um, chloride, you can easily remove that with, with a carbon filter. GP and all the processed food, we talked about that and all these estrogenic chemicals in the processed food. Basically, Processed food feminizes you. It, it, it's loaded with estrogenic chemicals. And uh, I get a lot of feedback, f people not happy about me telling you the truth about soy. Okay, I've said it before. I say it again. If you eat soy, you know, it's like you failed your instant IQ test. Um, and it, you know, it'll feminize and sterilize people. It's not a health food. Um, anyways, there's so many things that are sort of overloading you and dragging you down. That's why you avoid them as best you can and then do all this stuff to build up your reserve to so your body can detoxify you from all this stuff and avoid all these things. So anyways, what I'm saying is cell, your overall health is determined by what's happening in your individual self. These things all build up your individual cells. These things down here, they reduce your stress, increase your resilience, your sense of purpose and contributes to that as well. Social support also lowers your stress. These things all decrease uh, the function of your individual cells. So... Yeah, do the good stuff, avoid the bad stuff, you'd be healthier.